Another twist in the controversy surrounding an exhibit at the Orlando Museum of Art. The museum CEO has now been let go. This news comes after FBI agents raided the museum last week and seized more than two dozen paintings. Some experts say the artwork is fake. Channel 9's Christy Turner live in Orlando and she got her hands on a copy of the search warrant. And Christy, it lists conspiracy and wire fraud as two possible crimes here. According to this new affidavit right here, the artworks owners hired experts to try and strengthen the credibility that these paintings were authentic. But the FBI agents say they have reason to believe the artwork that was on display here inside the Orlando Museum of Art was fake. Aaron DeGroft is off the job, replaced as director and CEO of the Orlando Museum of Art. The move comes amid controversy surrounding Jean-Michel Basquiat's Heroes and Monsters exhibit. Friday, FBI agents raided the museum and confiscated 25 paintings. The search warrant cast doubt on the authenticity of the artwork. We stand by our, our industrial, rigorous, academic process. Channel 9 questioned DeGroft about the artwork back in February. We don't authenticate art. They were authenticated before we were involved by, by major, major specialists that put their entire reputations on the line. The collection, billed as Basquiat Originals, has an estimated value around $100 million, if real. The FBI questions whether a FedEx logo on the back of one of the works was in use before the artist died in 1988. The affidavit says DeGroff told an art expert who was hired to authenticate the paintings to, quote, be quiet and stay in her limited lane. In a statement, the Orlando Museum of Art wrote, we have launched an official process to address these matters as they are inconsistent with the values of this institution, our business standards, and our standards of conduct. The FBI Los Angeles Division, which is leading the investigation, says it has no comment citing the ongoing case. Reporting live in Orlando, Christy Turner, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. All right, Christy, a car crash.